hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to get date and time with Ajax calendar extender in ASP.NET now after I reload the browser now I'm selecting the text box control I'm selecting the date the 19th April notice we got the date as well as the time the current time is 12:11:46. See, 12.11.56 right now, the current time is, that's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created a new project. Notice in this web form 1.aspx page contains a simple HTML code with some header tags, h1, h2 and horizontal line. I am using Ajax Calendar Extender. So first thing we require the script manager. So after the form tag, open toolbox. I am minimizing the standard folder. I am expanding the Ajax extensions. I am adding the script manager. After adding the script manager, now hop to the horizontal line. I am adding one text box control to display the date and time. Open toolbox. I'm expanding the standard folder. Come to the bottom. There is a text box control. Let's add that one. After that, I'm adding the Ajax calendar extender. Open toolbox again. And this time I'm selecting the Ajax toolbar. And there is a calendar extender here. Add that one. After adding the calendar extender, let's add the property target control ID is equals to the text box one. And notice there is a registered directory is added when we are using the Ajax controls. That's it, we have done the designing part. Let's check the basic output how it looks the designing part on the browser in Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that code. And notice when I focus on the text box control, see I got the calendar extended control. So when I select any particular date, for example, today's date is uh, April 30. And notice we got the date only. But my aim is I want to get date and time in this text box control. For that I'm using JavaScript. Let's add the JavaScript. stop debugging in the header tags I'm adding script tag now inside this script I'm adding function function get date time in this function I'm adding the object X Let's declare a variable a date select is equals to new date class. Date select is equals to x dot selected date. After adding the date, now we require the time variable time display is equals to new date class x dot get underscore element math dot value is equals to date select dot format the format to display the date will be double quotes dd capital mm and small yy plus and i want to display the time also 
time display dot format between double quotes the time format I'm adding HH is hours minutes and seconds that's it we have added the JavaScript code to get the date and time now the final step is we need to add this function name in the Ajax calendar extender control on client date selection change it is equals to I don't require this object that's it we have done the complete coding part I'm reloading the browser link now after I reload the browser now I'm selecting the text box control I'm selecting the date the 19th April notice we got the date as well as the time the current time is 12.11.46 see 12.11.56 right now the current time is that's it